Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Maplewood Legacy episode 26. I am back today with another episode of The Maplewood Legacy and we are out in the garden today on this very sunny day to celebrate Isaac's birthday. At 1pm today Isaac is going to be having his birthday party which is getting all set up in the garden. He is just currently playing in the ball pit that Amaya and Ethan have hired out for his birthday party and here also comes Emmy to jump in and play with him as well. Everyone else in the house is also getting ready for the party today. Amaya is inside in the kitchen just preparing some food and Ethan is outside clearing the outside cooking area ready to cook some pizzas and some stuff on the grill too. As for Oscar he is out here walking Theo. <laughs> He's feeling quite energised getting outside and doing some exercise. It's one of his favourite things to do. The party is starting so let's go ahead and begin. I'm gonna get Oscar to make his way outside. His friends have arrived. I'm gonna get Oscar to go ahead and talk to his friends. He invited quite a few of his friends also as well so then Isaac can get to know them when he does age up and look at Takashi giving Oscar a hug as well. I think that I'm gonna get Oscar to kind of make a group with all of the kids and then they can go ahead and all play together. I think he's gonna kind of call them all over to come and play some marbles. I think he has been most excited for this so we will play marbles with Poppy of course, we'll play it with Ellis and Trevin and also Camille if we can, oh no we can't. I think that we are actually going to go ahead and get Camille to join in instead of Trevin because we actually have bad compatibility with Trevin so I feel like Oscar would ask Camille over Trevin, <laughs> poor Trevin but I feel like that's what Oscar would do. So he's going to go ahead and ask everyone to come and play and Isaac is kind of just watching over them. Um, he can't join in but I feel like he would really want to. When he ages up maybe we can get him to go ahead and join a game of marbles but I feel like he is just kind of watching. Maybe I'll get him to go ahead and just sit on the floor next to them and he's just gonna kind of watch them <laughs> which is so cute. He's gonna kind of try and join in with the big kids. Ethan has just finished making a pizza so we'll go ahead and put that on the table over here and that looks really really tasty. Look at Amaya over here talking to Thomas, they're saying hello to each other. Kimmy is dancing with Emmy which is so cute. I think that Ethan is going to come and sit over here and talk to Thomas. I did also invite over Amy and Thomas's fiance Aaron but I can't see them anywhere. They don't seem to have arrived just yet so hopefully they will arrive at some point but a lot of my guests aren't really turning up apart from the kids so I'm not quite sure what happened there. Whilst these guys sit and have a catch up I'm actually going to get Emmy to ask to go in the kiddie pool and I think she's going to ask Kimmy. Her and Kimmy's relationship is slowly getting up but actually she's really close with her grandpa which is crazy I didn't realise their relationship was that high. She gets along really well with her grandpa which is really sweet. I definitely want to keep blossoming this relationship I think and developing a bit of a storyline for it in that case since I didn't realise their relationship was so high. I'm gonna go ahead and age up Isaac in just a moment but everyone has started to grab some food especially the kids so I definitely think that Oscar is gonna do the same thing and Isaac is gonna kind of tag along behind him once again and it just also grab himself some pizza. I think Emmy is gonna see them grabbing food but she is still quite small so I can imagine that she probably can't do it herself just yet so she's actually just gonna come over here to her mum and ask her mum if she can have something to eat. We have kind of run out of food so I am going to get Ethan to quickly grill some food up. I'm going to get him to make some grilled chicken but I think that Emmy is going to ask her mum for a cupcake so we'll go ahead and we'll get Amaya to grab a serving for Emmy and she can get one for her to eat and Isaac didn't manage to grab any pizza. I'll get him to grab some of the chicken once it's cooked. And here is Amy as well. She's finally arrived. She's coming over to talk to the girls over here. People are starting to leave because the party is actually over. <laughs> we still didn't age up Isaac so we're gonna have to age him up just 
by ourselves but that's fine i would quite like it if kimmy and takashi could stay though we made some more food though which ethan has put over here so we'll go ahead and place it here and we can actually go ahead and get maya and ethan both to grab some because they're really hungry and then we'll get isaac to grab some too they can go ahead and sit and eat before we go ahead and age up isaac emmy is inside she's doing okay she's just feeling quite tired now oh looks like she didn't like the cupcake she took a bite out of it but she didn't finish it she said ew yucky so she's not really a big fan of that We'll get everyone to come outside so then they can go ahead and watch the aging up i think i'll go ahead and get ethan to age up isaac i think he did age up oscar so we'll get him to age up isaac as well and he's gonna be aging up he's gonna be the same age as oscar well technically not the same age oscar is a lot older than him he is getting close to his teen years now but they're both gonna be children and here we go a bunch of confetti isaac has blown out his can well he's candles <laughs> and he is gonna age up into a child i can't wait to see what he's gonna look like and also as well give him his traits give him his makeover one thing i nearly forgot to show you before isaac does age up is that he has actually fully maxed out every single skill as you guys can see i think that is the first time i've done that with any of my toddlers so <laughs> i'm pretty impressed with isaac with that but there we go he is aging up and he has aged up up with level two in every skill and for his trait i am gonna go ahead and give him the genius trait i don't give this trait to a lot of my sims and he genuinely is the biggest genius i've ever seen <laughs> he maxed out all his toddler skills so we are gonna go ahead and give him the genius trait and explore this side of isaac in his childhood years and as for his aspiration since he is a genius i think i'm gonna give him the mental one and i'm gonna give him whiz kid and there we go he has aged up and he has a lot of freckles long hair currently and he does look a lot like his brother like a crazy amount like his brother oscar I am a creator sim and I have finished giving Isaac a makeover and this is what he looks like. This is the hairstyle I chose for him. I kept his dark freckles, I just changed them up a bit. Himself and Oscar actually look very different. At first I thought they looked very similar but they do actually look very very different from one another. Oscar looks just like Ethan whereas I feel like Isaac has a lot of features of his mum and some features of his dad he looks a lot more like emmy i think with a little bit of oscar <laughs> as for isaac's outfits i went for a lot of light tones greens whites and his outfits are also very comfortable i can imagine that isaac would want to dress very comfortably so he wears a lot of jumpers and a lot of joggers as you can see his outfits are very chilled very relaxed but i really like the way that they turned out this is his formal wear pretty basic his athletic wear his sleepwear which looks super comfortable party wear swimwear and then his hot weather wear are these two outfits right here and lastly his cold weather wear outfits as well i feel like his fashion sense kind of all ties in really nicely together i especially like his everyday outfits i really like the way that they turned out they look very comfortable very relaxed outfits and i really like his fashion sense and his style we've picked his aspiration and picked his traits but i did decide to randomize his likes and dislikes as well i did this with oscar just to give him a bit of a star on things that he likes and dislikes so i decided to do the same thing with isaac as well so for isaac he dislikes the color pink he likes alternative music he likes family motivated sims which so far i think these are suiting him really well i feel like he would like family motivated sims he has a big family i feel like he's a very family oriented kid if that's possible conversation topics he likes discussing interests 
interests which I really like because I think that Isaac is going to have quite strong interests as a child so I like that he likes discussing them and talking to people about them and as school subjects he dislikes performing arts which <laughs> I really like that one too because I think that just definitely suits Isaac. I don't think he would like performing arts whereas I think he's going to be very fond of potentially environment and culture and problem solving and he likes snowboarding which at first I was thinking I don't know if Isaac would really be into that type of stuff but then I thought that kind of ties in really nicely with the fact that he is probably going to spend a lot of time in Mount Kabarevi. Out of all of the activities that you can do on the slopes he particularly enjoys snowboarding so I really like that. I think that his likes and dislikes already work really well for the type of person that I want to shape Isaac to be. But that is a look at Isaac. We're going to go ahead and jump back into the game now and we can carry on with the gameplay. I have just arrived back in the game and I have got a pop up already for Isaac that says he has decided he dislikes pop music and I'm going to say yes to that. So we now know a bit more about Isaac that he does not like to listen to pop music. <laughs> I am going to get everyone to go ahead and start heading inside now. Isaac does still need to open his birthday presents so we'll go ahead and bring these inside and he can open these in just a second. I'm just going to get Amaya to quickly put Emmy to bed and then we can go ahead and we can open Isaac's birthday presents. We're just waiting for Oscar, here he comes and we will go ahead and get Isaac to open a present and let's see what is he going to get in inside he has a Christmas wrapping paper we'll just pretend it doesn't look like that he got a carrot which is quite interesting and Oscar is deciding to ride his bike inside I think I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that <laughs> we've only been able to open one present which we got a carrot I'm not quite sure why we got a carrot but we will open the rest tomorrow morning and I am gonna go ahead and get Oscar to give his birthday present from him to Isaac so we'll go ahead and we will get him to give gift friendly gift I have a mod in that changes the wrapping paper I didn't know that I did that so we're giving Christmas presents <laughs> but Oscar is saying just to Isaac here you go here's your birthday present from me I hope you like it and Isaac is gonna open it up and inside Oscar has given him a void critter booster pack as we know Oscar is very much into void critters he has a bunch of them in his inventory and he always is playing with them so I think he's kind of just saying to Isaac you know I thought I'd get you a Void Critter card for your birthday so then we can play together <laughs> and I think Isaac is just gonna say thanks. I don't know if he's really into Void Critters the same way his brother is but I think that he is still gonna be quite happy with the gift and maybe potentially he will want to collect the cards or something like that. Since Maya is talking to her dad I'm gonna get Ethan to give one present to Isaac that is from the both of them so a present from his parents. This one is quite a small present but Ethan and Amaya wanted to give it to him to start off his collection and I say collection because in the present box Amaya and Ethan did actually buy him a marble to go ahead and put in his marble jar. Isaac was very much enjoying the marbles game at his birthday party so I wanted him to keep the jar and start collecting the marbles and he can play with them, he can just collect them. I think he's going to be into collecting things. I don't know why I can just see that for him. So we can collect a couple of the collectibles with Isaac I think and marbles can be one of them. And the main present that Isaac did get for his birthday from his parents apart from the marble <laughs> was in his bedroom. He does have a little TV along with a games console. So I like to imagine that that is his main birthday present. I also did give Isaac room a makeover before I started the video as well. His room has quite a lot of character to it I feel. It has a bunch of posters, he has one here about the planets, he has this one here as well, he has a lot of sci-fi gaming things, he has a space rug. Over here on his side table he has this robot light, his gaming stuff, his headphones up there, he has a bunch of gaming posters. So I think for Isaac we're going to focus a lot on gaming and collecting things and sci-fi stuff 
stuff I would like him to be into that sort of stuff I think but you never know he may change his mind he may start liking and disliking certain things so we'll see how we go but that is where I'm gonna go with Isaac and the direction that I'm gonna go with Isaac but he is all asleep tucked up in bed for now and he needs to get some rest because tomorrow I think that he does actually have his first day of grade school and we are actually going to be going along with him which I'm very excited about. We're going to be going along with Isaac and Oscar because of course now they are both in elementary school so I thought it'd be fun to head there with them for Isaac's first day and we can just see what they get up to so I'm going to let these guys head to sleep for now and we will catch up with them again in the morning. It is now the next morning and Maya has woken up this morning. She is in the kitchen with Ethan. Ethan is eating some breakfast before he heads to work and Maya is just making the boys some lunch to take to school. She's currently making Isaac's tuna salad sandwich. <laughs> Ethan is awake. He is currently actually in Oscar's bedroom. I'm assuming these two were just having a conversation <laughs> since Oscar is awake in here. He is just psyching himself up for the day. <laughs> Since Ethan is all ready to go I am actually going to go ahead and get him to give Emmy some breakfast but first I am going to get Amaya to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for Oscar to take to school. We we'll give Emmy some breakfast. For breakfast we're going to give her some yogurt. It's the only thing that she likes to eat in the morning so we'll go ahead and give that to her now. Looks like it's time for Ethan to actually head to work. I'm going to go ahead and send him alone today. I'm gonna have to get Isaac up. He is currently still asleep. He had a bit of a lay-in because he did actually wake up in the night from the monster under the bed. It was freaking him out so he was awake during the night time and because of that as well he is now scared of the dark too. Poor Isaac. <laughs> It is nearly time to go though so hopefully Isaac is nearly ready. We'll quickly pause the game and change his outfit. I think for his first day of school he is gonna probably wear something that he feels quite confident in, quite comfortable in. It's also quite windy and cold today so I think I am just gonna get him to wear this outfit here with his hat on as well, the joggers, jumper and his beanie. It's now time time for the boys to head off to school. It has taken me a while to get this screen to pop up. I had a mod in that was conflicting with this mod but I finally got it to work. It now says it's Tuesday 8am even though it was Monday but I did just time skip with MC command center to 5am the next day so nothing's happened. I haven't played a day off camera. I just time skipped. <laughs> the only thing that's different is because it is now a Tuesday Ethan is not at work so he's just going to be staying at home with Emmy today but we are now heading off to school with these two so we will go ahead and we are going to head with Isaac and Oscar both together so they've got their packed lunches and it's time for them to get the bus on their way to school. We have arrived at Oscar and Isaac's school. They are heading inside. It is raining here right now so they're gonna head inside quick before they get wet. I can imagine that Oscar is probably taking Isaac inside and he's just gonna kind of say to him the art classrooms that way, the science rooms that way. <laughs> I think he's just gonna be giving Isaac a bunch of tips on how to survive the school day and I feel like Oscar is also just gonna brag about his grades a bit and he's gonna kind of say to Isaac you know if you work hard you can have great grades like me <laughs> because Oscar is actually an A student he doesn't do his homework ever so I don't really know how he is an A student but he is <laughs> but these two are gonna just have a chat whilst they wait for lessons to begin and it looks like Isaac likes stories we'll say yes to that I'm actually not too sure where any of the other kids are I'm gonna get Oscar to just go ahead and invite them all here and then we can add them as a group because I'm not too sure where they all are currently so I'm gonna get them to all come here before the school day does start. Class is just now about to begin and it is time for health and fitness. 
here are all the other kids they are now turning up and oscar and isaac aren't sitting on the same table however oscar is over here sitting next to his friend i think that they are gonna go ahead and just talk a little bit maybe just very quietly i feel like they wouldn't really be allowed to talk in class but they're going to anyway and isaac is sitting over here he's looking actually very happy to be in class he looks like he's enjoying himself and he's actually sitting next to this kid too who i actually saw walk outside and I wanted Isaac to introduce himself to him so I think that I am gonna get Isaac to do that after this class is over. Isaac's looking pretty happy about class whereas Oscar over there just looks like he wants it to be over. <laughs> It's now lunch break so I'm gonna get Isaac to go ahead and actually quickly just introduce himself to this sim here. So he's gonna do a friendly introduction to Devon and I think I'm gonna get these two to hang out for the day. We can't add him to our group. I'm gonna go ahead and just control him just to make it a little bit easier. He is going to order some food so I'll let him do that and I think that Isaac is gonna make his way over to the cafeteria to go ahead and eat his lunch and as for Oscar... He is going to go ahead and I'm going to get him to actually stay in the classroom and talk to his friends for a bit whilst he eats his lunch. So I'll get him to unpack his sack lunch and he can go ahead and eat it here whilst he talks to his friends. Isaac, after he has eaten, wants to play pirates. So we'll go ahead and do that if we do have some time. He's not actually that hungry. So maybe we could actually go ahead and play some pirate and Isaac could invite Devon over to come and play with him. He also also wants to study skiing online. <laughs> I definitely think that relates to the fact that he is probably going to be heading back to Mount Komorebi soon so he wants to brush up on his snow activity skills. Here comes Devon to come and play with him as well. Hopefully these two can become quite good friends eventually. I'm really glad that Isaac is enjoying school. I do feel like Isaac as a person is going to enjoy every aspect of school. The socialising, also the lessons as well. I think he is going to enjoy a lot of parts of it whereas for Oscar I feel like he mostly just enjoys the social aspect and actually looks like he's talking to Poppy currently. I haven't seen her yet today so it's good to see her. I'm gonna get these two to just talk to one another. I'm gonna get Oscar to go ahead and do some more work in a second though and he does actually need to study fitness online which first though I'm gonna get him to go and use the bathroom because he does really need to go and use the bathroom and as Isaac has been talking to Devon he has learned that he is a loner we we'll keep talking to him maybe we could ask about another sim actually and we could ask about oscar and see if devon knows his brother i feel like isaac would ask that question i think he's gonna be like hey do you know my brother oscar he goes to this school too and <laughs> looks like isaac has just been completely ignored because everyone has run inside i don't know if they were ignoring him or just telling him to come inside now or hinting for him to come inside but i think that we are gonna get isaac to spend the last half an hour of school studying skiing online so we get him to come and sit over here and we will get him to study skill and we get him to study skiing hopefully he makes it in time the school day might end i'm not too sure but oscar is also going ahead and he is going to go and study fitness as well i actually really like how the things they need to study match their personalities really well oscar is really into sports so he's going to do some fitness study and Isaac is as we know he likes snowboarding so I'm gonna say that it's kind of on the same lines as skiing unfortunately I don't think we're gonna make it in time but we're just gonna say that Isaac did do a bit of studying before the school day it did end we'll get him to just sit on the computer and do a quick bit of studying maybe he's gonna go just a bit over time getting engrossing information Isaac is already a B student wow he must have had a very good day today I think that I'm gonna get these two to head home. I think that Oscar is gonna suggest to Isaac if they're gonna head home now and get the bus because the four o'clock bus is gonna be here very soon. So they're gonna go ahead and head on home. I do feel like Oscar would slightly be a bit embarrassed, just in a little bit taking his brother home on the bus. But I feel like Amaya has probably said to him, you know, go home with Isaac, make sure that he knows what he's doing just for the first few days, head home with him. And I think that Oscar is probably just being like okay mum but he is not really fond of his little brother tagging along but he's not going to be mean to him he is still really nice to his brother just a bit embarrassed 
The boys have now arrived back home and Isaac is just finishing up opening his birthday presents from his birthday yesterday. And let's see, what did he get? He actually got a bunch of books. A lot of books. <laughs> he got a book about skiing which seems to be his thing currently so is he going to be into skiing and snowboarding maybe? It also looks like he got a few other books, a science fiction book, he got a fantasy book so he can go ahead and keep them and read them. I'm liking the skiing theme especially though at the moment. <laughs> Isaac has come in and said hello to his parents though. He's going to go ahead and come and use the bathroom and Amaya is actually going to go ahead and start cooking some dinner. Actually Actually, I think we have leftovers from the other night so I think we're gonna go ahead and have that instead we do so we'll go ahead and have that we'll get Amaya to actually I'm gonna get her to ask Oscar to come and lay the table I think that he is very preoccupied right now playing but I think that Amaya is kind of getting him to do a few more chores at the moment so we're gonna influence him to go ahead and set the table so she's just gonna come out here and just ask Oscar if she can help him with the dinner preparations. Emmy actually isn't hungry, maybe she has already eaten her dinner so I'm actually gonna go ahead and get Ethan to read her to sleep. It is nearly 7pm so I can imagine she is getting tired now. Isaac is gonna go ahead and come and sit down ready for his dinner as well. These guys are going to go ahead and tuck into their dinner. I think as they eat, they are going to talk about their days today. Amaya and Ethan are going to ask the boys what they got up to at school. And I think that Isaac is going to say he had a good day. And he's going to also talk about Devin, the other kid that he met and played with him on the pirate ship. I think that Isaac is going to tell them about that. They're all getting up already though. So we'll go ahead and clear up after dinner. I think that Oscar, he is getting quite tired but I think he is actually gonna go ahead and he's gonna head into his bedroom and he is gonna train his voider critters up and I can imagine that whilst he does that they do have an iPad it is over here so I can imagine that whilst he does that he's probably gonna like FaceTime his friends and stuff like that whilst he is playing with his voider critters. As for Isaac he is gonna go ahead and head upstairs and before he takes a shower and heads to sleep he is gonna come and sit at his desk and do his homework work. So Isaac is going to sit and do that. He looks like he's speeding through the pages. <laughs> he's going to finish up his homework and then he's probably going to head to sleep soon. I can imagine he would probably do his homework nearly every night. I feel like he would get a bit worried if he didn't do it. So he is going to go ahead and get that done. Oscar is down here FaceTiming his friends and playing Avoid Critters. <laughs> looks like he's finished now and he's feeling quite tired. So I'm going to get him to go ahead and take a shower and then head to sleep. Am I Maya and Ethan are in here flirting with one another. I'm going to get them to both start getting ready to head to sleep as well. I'm going to get Amaya to come take a shower and I think she's just going to head straight to bed. Isaac is just so nearly finished with his homework. He is nearly there. He's 75% done. It's getting so late now, but he's staying up to finish his homework. I think he's going to try and do it a bit earlier tomorrow night. He is all finished now though, so I'm going to get him to go ahead and get into his PJs and he's going to get to sleep as well. We get him to go ahead and sleep. He is feeling so tired now. But that is where I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. I really hope that you did enjoy it. I really enjoyed spending this episode aging up Isaac, celebrating his birthday. Isaac is now in his child stage of his life. I feel like he is now going to start figuring out what he likes, his hobbies, the direction that his life is going to go in. So I can't wait to see where we are going to go with Isaac and his story and what he is going to get up to. But thank you so much for watching today's episode episode I really hope that you did enjoy it I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon bye